Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Ritzy here, back with another video. And in this video, uh, it's gonna help you guys out a lot. And it's bet, and it's only for Fortnite. So, uh, yeah. Um, I really hope this helps. So I saw this video uh, the other day of this guy saying, um, OG accounts or older accounts. If you've had it for a while, or like if you even just had it for like four months, you get more ping, you get less FPS, and you get more input lag because of all the XP that has been added. And if you're on PC, you can do something about this. And I figured out how to fix it. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Basically, all you do is press your Windows button and your R key. Or you could type R U N. Click on Run. And type percentage local app. Oh, that's caps. App data and another percentage sign. And go ahead and press OK. Right here, you're gonna see your Fortnite game. You're gonna go ahead and right-click that. Well, highlight it first. Right-click it, <clears throat> and you're going to click rename. And now you're gonna rename it to Fortnite Game One. And that's it you press enter and now what this does it makes it it makes your uh, it resets everything in the settings here it's gonna feel like your game is back to season one and you're gonna get less input lag and it's gonna really affect how your game um how, how smooth it is and I'll show you how the launching works right now alright guys so it wouldn't let me record um, what it just said to me but it said find the best settings for your system so this is gonna look like I just logged in to Fortnite, and it's gonna my all my keybinds are gonna be the same. The only thing that's gonna be different is my graphic settings. Yep, it has all the everything right here for me. The whole new season, is like acting like uh, acting like I've never seen this before, and that's all from renaming the folder. You might experience lower ping, but you're really gonna experience a lot less input lag. So yeah, I can go back here. And my settings are really crappy right now, like my everything in here, because they have the, like all this messed up. Everything in here is reset. So I'm gonna add this to um, full screen, and I'm gonna put it on 1920 by 1080. If you have it on this, this is gonna give you a lot, um, a lot less, um, like maybe a little bit less input lag, and it's gonna give you a little, like a lot less pixels, so your screen's gonna look a lot more. Uh, a lot uglier, but it's gonna give you a lot more FPS. And also, t try this on 1280. But I feel like uh, it, maybe it's just me, but I feel like uh, my mouse is more responsive when I play on that. Um, <clears throat> my FPS is at 144. Um, interface contrast. Um, a, a sweet spot is 1.1. I highly suggest trying that. It looks a lot better for your guns. Um, auto auto set uh, quality. So we're gonna fix this. Um, so I have my uh, view distance on uh, far, and then I have my shadows on very low. Um, my anti-aliasing turn that off. I'm just gonna give you more input lag. Textures I suggest having it on high. For some people, it even gives you more FPS, but it really shouldn't affect you. And your effects you can have that on low or high, whatever is good for you. I mean. I suggest medium is like a good place, but I'm just gonna keep it on low for now. And yeah, everything's here. I'm gonna switch this to back to DX uh, 12 maybe later, and I'm gonna show you uh, how my game looks in the game and show you my max frames. But VSync, make that off. Motion blur, off. DirectX version, allow multi threaded rendering. I want that on. And how you can check that is by right clicking your taskbar. Click on Task Manager, Performance, and I go to my CPU, 6 cores, that means I need multi-threaded rendering on. If you have one or something or something like that, then you do not need it on. Now, um, yeah, everything here is pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Apply. And this is the only thing that has changed in here, except that has to go up. And everything else looks good. Everything else is on the right settings. And yeah. So I'm 
gonna go ahead and apply it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm in a creative right now, and as you can see, I'm on pretty high settings, like, everything in my, uh, settings tab I'm gonna show you right now. I put on Ethernet 9, I don't know how to say it really, but, um, everything here, I got, uh, view distance pretty far. Um, I just don't have shadows, everything is off, like, like the shadows and stuff, because I don't think that is really useful. And I get well over 400 FPS in creative, if I want to, um, almost double 240, I'm getting about, I mean, I can almost hit 500 if I lower it. And it looks like my ping is even lower, guys, I mean, like, I, I'm never in the 30s, like, I'm getting late 30s right now, and... I'm telling you, I th I really think that did work. So I'm I'm getting like low 30s right now. So that reduced my ping quite a bit. And I can like, when I say I can feel like the input lag difference, I can really feel it, guys. Like it's it's really crazy how this um thing works. I suggest doing this every few months. I did it like once a few months ago, and yeah, I I just hit a 34. <laughs> I never hit that, guys. So I'm I'm happy about it. You guys are probably always getting it, but. Yeah, um, don't forget to like, um, sub if you consider subbing, I guess, and yeah, that's gonna be it for me.